This is how we ride. This is how we do. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 37th annual Chili Bowl Midget Nationals that is starting this week. And some of you may ne- have never watched it or tuned in on Flow. Uh, or, or, or been there in person or anything like that. So you may be like, why are they racing every single night? Basically, there's so many cars that enter uh, around the 300 mark every single year, close to 400 last year, that they split the drivers up between five qualifying nights so that the races can get done relatively quick and that everyone has a shot and everyone qualifies each single night with the top two finishers in the A main being locked in to the main event on Saturday course there'll be some races that will determine how those two drivers will actually uh line up in the main event on saturday they've done different types of qualifying events king of the wheel knockout challenges 4v4 kind of deals but what you're watching tonight is the top two guys trying to lock into the a main if you finish let's just say third through eighth you'll be going to the b main on saturday night and those are some tough b mains 9th through 14th, you go to the the C main Saturday. So it's very important to be in these top two spots. And how you get to these top two spots is based on a mixture of heat and qualifying formats. So everybody's going to run a heat race tonight, but not everybody's going to run one of these four qualifying races tonight. Those four qualifying races are going to be 10 cars each, and it's 40 cars going for more passing points. In the heat races, it's all about passing points. The top 40 who score the most passing points from those heat races advance to the qualifying races. And even in the qualifying races, it'll be an inversion to kind of keep the passing point system fair. The top 24 cars, in fact. So the first three rows of the qualifying races will be inverted with the highest point getter being on the outside of the third row at each one of those qualifying events. And then after they race those qualifying events, the top 16 in overall points from the heats and the qualifiers will go into the A main and everybody else will have to be running the B. Now you may be worried about, well, what happens if you're not top 40 and you don't even get to the qualifying events? Well, those guys go to a C They race it out to try to get into the B with the remaining drivers from the qualifying events that were taking place. And in those B mains, the top four from each will be advanced into tonight's A main, making a 30-lap, 24-car main event. And that's how you get to this segment where you even try to get into the top two, into the A main, and every spot counts. For instance, the 24th place car in tonight's main event will be in the E main. Now, if you've never studied a Chili Bowl Midget Nationals field, if you're not in the in the C main, at least you are pretty much not going to make the A main come Saturday night. You got to get into that C main to even have a chance, and really you don't even have one. You got to really get into the B, because these Bs are... are world-class A mains at, at any event across the country. And if you start 24th in tonight's main event and you finish 24th, you're going to be in the E. But if you can pick up a few cars, get up into 20th, you'll be in the D. If you can pick up a few more and get up into 14th, you'll be in a C. And if you can somehow get to 8th, you're in a B main. So even though the top two cars are being locked into the A, the top eight is where you, if you want any kind of chance to make it into the big event on Saturday, the 55 lapper, you have to be top eight tonight. Love to be top two, but there's only two great guys, and those two great guys are going to be up front. They're going to be in some of the best race cars in the world, and it's going to be real hard to come from 24th or deep in the field to get up into that top two. Really, really hard. So if, if you're not already locked in, you're not already up there, you've had to go through a C or a B, top eight is your is your goal. And you want to get further up because every spot that you get there, you're advancing five positions in the starting grid so it's an interesting format i hope people like this video watch this video kind of understand how these heats and qualifiers work how they actually play a part into saturday night's main event because everybody is you know trying to go to the saturday show some people are here just having a a good old time and and it's a vacation for them it's an experience but for those people who are here to contend for the win to try to have a chance at winning that golden driller This is some of the stuff that some people need to know that are watching, possibly the first time, never seen it before. You got Flo, you're a late model fan, you've never really watched the Chili Bowl. This is kind of how these things play out and why each qualifying night is very important to Saturday night's main event and the B mains and even some of the C's. And I'm telling you right now, watch tonight's racing. It's going to be good, but come Saturday... Yeah, these lower mains, if you got a local guy, you want to see how far he can advance. 
But when it gets to those C mains, and then when it gets to those B mains, these are some of the most ruthless races all week long. Because they ain't locked into the A. Once a guy gets in the A, he almost feels accomplished. He's in the A main. Do I win it or not? You know, that, that that's for some of the guys there. Some of the guys there are, are really there to win the race. But half that field is just happy to be in that A main event sometimes. But those Bs and those Cs, they're trying to get into that A main. That, that accomplishment of making that race, it, it, those races are, 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 are very cutthroat. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you're going to be seeing tonight, every single night this week, until we get to Saturday. That's how things are going to play out. That's how stuff's going to roll out and happen. And I think for some people who are going to be tuning into this, once again, just because they got flow and they may be a late mile fan or, or this fan or that fan from a different region, and they don't really know what they're watching or why they're watching it or, hey, why did this guy finish 10th and he, he you know, doesn't even, why isn't he in the A? What, what happens to the guy who finishes 10th or the 8th position? This is, this is how this stuff kind of falls out and flows. So I think it's important for people to know, it's important for people to pay attention to, and it kind of gets you more involved in this Chili Bow Midget National so that you can actually appreciate and, and understand what positions matter and how a spot does matter and how it all comes together for the main event come Saturday night. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like the video, share the video if you know a lot of people who have not watched the Chili Bow a lot, don't really know the format. It's a very interesting one-of-a-kind style format because of the amount of entries. Uh, and leave a comment below what you think about the format. Do you think that's the best way to handle 400 cars? I don't know. It, there's so many ways you can do it. Uh, but they've done it this way. It has produced some great racing action. Um, and, and it's going to be interesting to see how this week goes. Uh, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, and hey, maybe join the channel. Until then. But this is how we ride. This is how we